Dear students, I would like to present to you the concept of the expected value of a random vector. Suppose that we have a random vector, capital X, and you know, whenever we say random vector, capital X, we write it in bold face. Ye generally uh, acceptable hai ke usko bold kar diya jata hai to convey that it is a vector. So I start again. Uh, let capital X bold be a random vector given by two random variables, x1 and x2. Then um, the expected value of the vector x will exist if the expectations of x1 and x2 exist. Agar wo alag alag unki expectations exist kar rahi hai, then we can we say that the expected value of that vector also exists. And students, the formula or the expression is very interesting, as you can see now on the screen. The expected value of the random vector x is the vector of the expected values of x1 and x2. Isn't that interesting? Um, I repeat, the expected value of a random vector is the vector of the expected values of those random variables. So, isko liye, let's take an example. Suppose that I toss two fair coins together using my right hand, and I define the random variable x1 as the number of heads that I obtain. Then, students, what will be the expected value of x1? Well, you can work it out using all the formulas that you know. I mean, the formula that you should apply in this case. Lekin mein aapko bataun, aap isko bohat jaldi se bhi kar sakte hain. The expected value of x1 will be equal to 1. Why? Dekhen. Aap ne do fair coins ko ikathe toss kiya hai. Apne right hand se mene ye kaam kiya hai. I can have head head, head tail, tail head, and tail tail. So, if head is head, head hai, to x, is e x1 is equal to 2. Because x1 is the number of heads. And if um, head tail is tail head, then x1 is equal to 1. Because head is the same as the other. And if you have tail tail, then x1 is equal to 0. Probabilities jo hai, they are 1 by 4. 2 by 4 and 1 by 4. And because of these probabilities that I have just now shared with you, and you can find them yourself very quickly, you know that it is a symmetric distribution. And if it is a symmetric distribution, then the mean of that variable has to be at the exact center, to 0, 1, 2, the center is 1. Why did we say that probabilities are 1 by 4 and 2 by 4 and 1 by 4? That's why we are, we are saying that those coins are fair. If they are fair, then you will know that you can say 1 by 4 and all of this. Now, suppose that with my left hand, I am uh, doing another experiment, and that is that I am tossing a fair die. And I am uh, denoting the number that I get on the die on the uppermost face. Uh, this particular random variable I am denoting by x2. If x2 denotes the number of uh, toss, uh, dots that you have on the uppermost uh, face of your die, students, uh, what will be the expected value of x2? Again, you can do the calculations, but you should um, develop the skill to find, uh, to, to find it in your head very quickly and to be able to say that the expected value of x2 
is equal to 3.5. Ab ye maine kaise keh diya? Well, because I said that it is a fair die. Agar fair die hai na, to phir 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, ye jo che possible faces hai, each one of them has probability 1 by 6. To jab har ek ki probability 1 by 6 hai, if it is a uniform distribution, discrete uniform distribution, again, if you draw its uh, graph, you will be able to realize that if you put a mirror in the middle, the left hand side is the mirror image of the right hand side, and so it is symmetric, and therefore the mean or the expected value of this particular random variable has to be in the exact middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, or three or four ka middle, 3.5. Ab many aapko x1 aur uski expected value bata di aur x2 aur uski expected value bata di. Ye alag se experiment kiya tha, ye alag se kiya tha. But now suppose I am doing the two experiments simultaneously. Ek haath se wo jis vak phenk rahi hu, usi vak dousre haath se dai phenk rahi hu. So then if you are considering these two variables x1 and x2 together in the form of a random vector, then we can say that the expected value of the random vector x is equal to uh, the vector e of x1, e of x2, and now that we have the numerical values of e of x1 and e of x2, 1 and 3.5, we can insert them there and our final conclusion is that e of x, where x is the random vector, it is the vector 1, 3.5. This is how we proceed when we are wanting to uh, determine the expected value of a random vector.